Well, Travis and Anna Clement are music and drama teachers at Scottsdale Preparatory Academy. They give so much to their students, but now they find themselves on the receiving end from their school community as Mr. C, as many of his students know him, well, he needs a kidney transplant. Pull the opening cord, ready and hold. It's music to Mr. Clement's ears. His eighth grade class harmonizing their recorders. And lift. In tune and on time. Four, five, and six. But there's a sour note in this music teacher's near future. Mr. C needs a kidney transplant. The surgery is about a month away. As of two months ago, he was at 12% kidney function. Okay. Um, Probably has not gone up. Mr. Clement's wife, Anna Chase Clement, teaches drama right across the hallway. As Arsh leans back, that's when you hide. But it's been quite a medical drama offstage for the fine arts duo. Mr. Clement was diagnosed with renal disease as a child, and they knew a transplant was inevitable. But they say the expense that goes along with the surgery and post-transplant medication is difficult to afford on two teachers' salaries. Can we figure out a way to keep doing what we love to do and what we are incredibly passionate about in teaching at a school? And can we still have a family and, and have a kidney? As I, we see our families hear the news of his upcoming surgery, uh, they have rallied around him, pouring out their support. Enter stage left, the school community, with support both moral and financial. We cry a lot, we cry a lot about it. It could feel so much more impossible than it does feel that all of a sudden this really hard journey is easier. Knowing that we have the support is amazing. We're used to helping provide opportunities for students to be featured. And so it's been an interesting experience for us to find ourselves in the spotlight. But just like any good teacher would do, the Clements are taking their very personal struggle and using it as a teachable moment. Seeing Mr. Clement face this but still be extremely strong is something that he even teaches us within speech and debate rounds, right? Like no matter how it goes, you need to be confident, you need to be strong. And just watching Mr. Clement go through all of this personally inspires me. I think them learning that their teachers are people and that people go through difficult things um, is, is an important lesson for them to approach while they're young and that at the same time to stay optimistic. One, two, and. So even as Mr. Clement endures this life-threatening battle, he chooses to dwell on a positive note. Don't they sound amazing? Uh, yeah, that's an eighth grade class there. Uh, we should mention a GoFundMe page has been set up for the couple, and it looks like they might have surpassed their goal, but keep in mind, the medication uh, to help the body adjust to a transplant is seven to $10,000 a year. And that's why uh, this couple's saying, gosh, can we have a kidney and a family? And that's what they're struggling with right now. So uh, the school has stepped up. Again, this GoFundMe page has been set up. They're doing all kinds of fundraisers, so it's really cool to see the students rallying around these teachers. Uh, we should mention one of the uh, most important battles that they have conquered. Uh, Mr. C's brother will be the donor. Wow. Uh, so that that is some good news uh, there. Um, but uh, this was a, kind of a funny uh, note. Mr. C said, um, he told his speech and debate team, he says, even from my hospital bed, I will be keeping in touch with you guys and helping you guys get ready for the state and the national tournament. Oh, that's a great teacher. That, that great a person. great teacher and yeah. great person inside. Absolutely. Oh, we are wishing him the best and pulling for him. Yeah. And we'll update everybody. He's going to have the surgery next month. All okay. Right. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Gina. You got